Hello everyone, this is Crota now giving you game six in the series with Spider up three to two. And it is going to be Spider Fly versus Gamania Slam here on Dual Sight. Yes, a map that I have not seen in quite some time. And it's really refreshing to actually see so many maps being used. As we see, Fly is spawning as the blue Zerg player here at what I will call the 2 o'clock position. Meanwhile, Gamania Slam spawning as the red Zerg player here at the 9 o'clock position. So Zerg versus Zerg here on dual site. And I am looking forward to this matchup and this map as this is really a, a very, very Zerg, Zerg happy map, especially in Zerg versus Zerg, as there's so many paths, so many wide openings, and so many ways to get inside your opponent's base. Overlord's now starting to fly and get in position. We should see a bit of a Sims or a, a Venn diagram here as we are now going into a drone. Where is this drone going? Going to be heading back up the ramp as, oh, the dreaded waterfalls make their comeback into game six. All right, so the drone actually made its way down, made sure that there wasn't, I guess, a proxy hatchery crazy strategy, and then made his way back up the ramp. So far, the over this Overlord is, seems to park itself off over here as it looks like we are going into a hatch first build by Fly. So both sides going into a hatchery first now and that means that both sides should be or uh, will not be able to engage for the next two minutes or so. With that said, Zerg versus Zerg is generally a very volatile matchup. One Baneling, one Zergling, one Roach can make all of the difference in getting your opponent destroyed versus um, you getting destroyed and also keeping track of your own um, drones versus your opponent's drones. One of the things that they need to do is they need to scout out and figure out each other's strategy and as soon as they know that they know how many drones that they can train up. If one player does one too many um, round of drones it, they can fall apart <coughs> They can fall apart pretty quickly there as we are setting up the hatcheries are about to be done. Spawning pools are done. Extractor already up and running for both sides. <coughs> With Fly, a slight advantage there. Spawning pool will be up in just a moment. And then after that, I believe the Banding's Nest should be there and should be following up shortly. Queens are being added. Queens are also very important in a Zerg versus Zerg. And I don't believe I've actually cast a Zerg versus Zerg on dual site after the 5 range. So the 5 range on that queen could be the extra DPS and the extra focus fire you need in order to hit Banelings before they get in. We'll see if the players do go more into a heavy queen strategy. The only problem with queens though is that um, queens, if you overinvest in queens, all you can really do is lay down creep tumors, and all creep tumors are at that point are a scouting mechanism as your opponent also gets a movement speed advantage. Fly, curiously, with only one drone on gas, normally I see two drones on gas if you are trying to go for banelings. Meanwhile, Gamania is still, Gamania Slam still going for three drones on gas, and that means that there will be a lot of banelings. Banelings are very effective and you really want to try to trade your banelings, one baneling for three plus zerglings if possible. Now back off over here. We are going to see some zerglings try to make their way up the ramp. They will be able to do exactly that. Get some very good scouting information. They come along the inside. The queen will be able to pick off this zergling with little to no effort as the zergling is still dancing around here. Pretty much sees, sees that there isn't a banding's nest. This zergling now trying to make its way back down. It does get taken down as Fly does get that metabolic boost slightly faster and now runs across the map. These Zerglings are unable to morph into Banelings at all as they are going to be getting into position here. Here we go. Zerglings are trying to get up that ramp. They're not going to be able to do much of anything as the Zerglings now engaging up against some drones. Queens are now in position as the Zerglings come in and get a very good surround onto those Zerglings. Baneling hits though and 
Wow, what happened here as Fly looks like he's going to be able to clean up and take down one of those queens. The Banelings didn't do nearly as much damage as Fly now just flooding in with more and more Zerglings. Um, Banelings trying to be added. No defensive Banelings for Slam as Fly now has a bunch of Zerglings inside the base. 29 drones compared to 23 and that number is going to continue to grow as there was already 14, 20 worker kills. And now Slam down to 17 supply. Fly pretty much has this game in the bag as long as he does not... Um, just walk into a army of banelings with this entire pack of zerglings. Zerglings now looking to come back down over here. There is one spine crawler here acting as a little bit of defense, trying to get through, and it looks like a lot more drones have fallen once again. We are at four supply, three supply, two supply to 47. All right, a slam should have should already GG at this point. There you go, zero. And he is unable to do anything there. There it is. Slam says GG. As Fly comes in with a very impressive, just straight up Zergling. Didn't even really go for roaches or anything else. And didn't even really need those Banelings. And catching Slam out of position and just completely unprepared for the number of Zerglings he was going to face. Perhaps an additional Queen with Transfuses could have helped, but at this point I'm not 100% sure what Slam could have done in order to fend off that attack. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, hope you guys enjoyed Game 6. As I believe Spider, uh, or I believe Spider has... You know what, I f did Spider win the previous game? Okay, if you guys have been watching, you guys have been keeping track of the score. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening.